Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over and joining me here on my channel, Septera 18. I had um, my recent video and I shared with you a really cute fun project uh, where you can make this really cute uh, pocket folder using uh, vellum. And so I decided to create another uh, similar one, but uh, making it into more of a junk journal theme uh, pocket folder. And then I decided to create some more other different pocket IDs using vellum uh, and make a little junk journal uh, pocket set using uh, vellum paper. So um, the, these are the ones that I had made. And I'm also going to show you uh, the tutorial on the uh, projects that I'm going to show you, as well as some new um, list listings that I have placed in my Etsy shop for those that like to do junk journals. Um, there'll be just uh, some more fun stuff in uh, the junk journal section of my shop where you could um, purchase some of the um, items that I will be listing, which I'll also show you at the end of the tutorial. But I'm going to show you the project um, that um, we're going to make. So this is the cute little pocket uh, folder. And it is this one here that I had shared with you in my recent video um, to make the pocket folder with the vellum and it's, it's really cute really easy to put together and you can make this in any size you like so you can see on the inside is the pocket where you could um, add your goodies um, or photos <clears throat> it's a great place to store photos a letter gift card uh, handmade jewelry packaging uh, and this is the cover so it's really really um, really pretty and um, I'll put the link to this tutorial down below for you because um, I won't do the, tu the tutorial again uh, for the uh, pocket but um, I'll put the tutorial to show you with the other ones uh, so let me just show you again uh, so this is the junk journal theme one that I've made so you see you can open it up and here is the pocket and this is the vellum and I had decorated with um, a little fabric cluster that I had put together which I think looks really pretty and then I just placed that on the corner here with some uh, pearls I think they're called like a pearl spray so I just stuck that on there I punched a hole on the side which is similar to this one here this one here has the little uh, chiffon flower which I have these in my shop as well and all I did on this one here I just placed some organza ribbon um, and tied a knot and place this cute little uh, bobbin charm dangle. You can see how cute that little bobbin dang charm dangle. So that's really cute. And I just placed that through the hole. And this is the pocket. And this is the vellum uh, cover. And this is a digital print that I purchased from uh, an Etsy store called, uh, I think it's called the Junk, uh, sorry, the Journal Boat. It's a really lovely uh, pattern print. Um, digital print so I just use normal photocopying paper and it still works um, lovely it's still nice and sturdy to use as a pocket and I also distressed it lightly with a uh, Tim Holtz uh, distress ink which is uh, the vintage photo on the around the edges so this is another one that I've made and then this is another one and I also made another one with some music paper and just mixed up the prints. And so I'll just show you how the set looks like that um, you could make. So this is the little uh, pocket folder. And then I've made another pocket, again, using the vellum. And I had done this tutorial in one of my other videos where you can make this really cute pocket using your scrap papers. But it was the my, uh, my patchwork paper pockets. Um, that you can make but instead I just added the vellum to make the pocket and then on the front here is another little pocket as well a little tuck spot where you can add some smaller ephemeras to the front and then on the back here is the larger pocket and you can see that it's nice and uh, wide and easy to store a few things in there so that that's the other pocket and this is the one I'm going to show you how to make uh, in this tutorial. Uh, I also had done this uh, tutorial as well in one of my other videos, again using scrap papers. But I'll do this tutorial again in this video because um, it's going to be using vellum. And the one that I had done in my other video was this one here. 
uh, where you just use any scrap papers and you can make this cute pocket um, style uh, Happy Mail type of a pocket and you can make this as well in uh, different sizes and this one here has you got so you have the one pocket there and then there is another pocket here and you've got a top pocket and then when you turn this around this side you also have another pocket here and there is another pocket here as well so there are one two three four and five so there are five places uh, five pockets to store all your goodies and this is a small size you can see it's not big but it will hold a few things as you can see so I decided to make another one but this time using vellum and it's a larger slightly larger size so you can see the size is different but it's uh, the same so here is the little pocket in the front and then over here is another tuck pocket and this is a little cluster uh, embellishment that I've made which um, was, I was quite happy with the way this turned out just um, I had some craft paper and I stamped the paper and tore the paper I added uh, a music sheet to the back some fabric uh, some lace and another digital print and I just lightly distressed the image around the edge and placed a little flat back embellishment on the front and these are great little clusters so that fits in here and so that's a large space that you can see you can fit a lot of things in there and then up the top here is the a top pocket the top vellum pocket so you can see that's got large enough room there to store goodies and then when you turn it this way i'll just take this out there is another pocket here and you also have this pocket in here as well it's a bit stuck there but there we go so there's another pocket in there so there's a lot of room to um store some goodies if you want to gift a little junk journal pack of ephemeras, um, tags, stickers. It's a great little uh, pocket. So I'm going to show you how to make this one and I'll redo this one as well in this video. Um, and then this is just a nice little pocket set that you could give to um, someone that likes to do junk journaling. Uh, it doesn't have to be junk journal theme like this one here wasn't a junk journal theme but it's still a lovely paper. So it is a lovely little set to gift uh, to somebody or you want to do a Happy Mail uh, goodie set. This is a great way to store all your goodies in here. And this would be a great little pocket to add to a page in your journaling or in your planners. And you can also just glue uh, the three sides down here. And then you can create another pocket at the back there as well. So that's another um, way you could do that. And it's the same with this one. You could also add this into a page and then place some glue to the three sides. That way you have another spot in the back there as well to create another uh, pocket. So there are um, some other ideas you could use with that. But I'm going to show you how to quickly make this one first. And um, then I'll do this one and then show you some of my new listings. So to make this one, Again, you just use any size paper that you like. As long as your paper is um, a, a good enough square size uh, or rectangle, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this one here is about four and a half by four and a half inches. Um, let me just see, I'm not even sure. So yeah, it's about four and a half by four and a half. And I just tore this uh, digital print paper with a ruler just to give it a more of a distressed edge look. And then um, we could go ahead and start folding. So this one here, I did cut it with my paper trimmer, this one with my ruler. So what you're going to do to make this one, you just simply get your paper and you're just going to bring both sides in and uh, sort of just roughly try to get it at the right, um, the right width to where you're going to fold it. You could use um, a scoreboard if you like, but... At least why I like it a little bit um, not too perfect is always sometimes nice as well so that's what you need to do you just need to fold both ends in and leaving a gap and then you're going to fold this bottom part up as well 
So when you fold this up, you just want to fold it um, so you know how deep you want your tuck spot to be. And that will also determine how deep your pocket is going to be. So I'm just going to place it about there. So I've got that folded. And then I'm going to open this up. And we're going to just cut out these two little squares down the bottom here because we don't need that. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go this way. And I'm just going to angle cut like that. And then remove that little square piece out. So that's what I'm going to do there. And I'll do the same to this side. And then take that out as well. And then what you can do next, if you would like, you can corner around these corners. Um, if you want to, you don't have to, if you want to leave it. Um, actually, I won't corner around this one because you can already see how that looks like. I'm going to leave this one plain for those that don't have a corner around a punch. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And then you're going to grab your vellum paper or your tracing paper. And um, you just want to get the size that's going to fit inside this gap. But you want to sort of have it so that it's still sitting um, inside the part where it's going to fold. Because when you want to put that in, you want to be able to glue it. So my one's a little bit too wide. So I'm just going to trim mine down a little bit. And also, you want to just make sure that your vellum paper just sort of sits below the top edge, but sort of sits in line with the fold bit. So you just play around with your little uh, vellum paste just to get it where you need it. And I think that should be enough. So I'm just going to slide that in just to see that it's going to be enough to... Um, so I'm happy with that. It's not going to come out. So I'm going to now just open this all up. And I'm going to apply glue to the two sides. And then I'm going to um, place the bottom just above the fold line with the glue facing up and I'm just going to bring that down and adhere that and just making sure that it's sitting nice and straight. So now we have that all closed up so you can see it's all closed up and then this part here if you want to create a little front tuck pocket all you're going to do is glue these two sides but if you don't want to have a uh, front tuck pocket you just uh, glue uh, this part here as well but I like the fact that you've got this little extra tuck spot in the front to add some more little tags so that is pretty much all there is to this cute little pocket that was pretty easy to make and if you want to do some distressing just distress um, all your edges first before you put it together otherwise you won't be able to get to the edges but um, that is how to make this one so that was nice and easy. And now we're going to make this one here. And to do that, you're going to need um, some vellum again. So if you want to make one of uh, this size, similar to this size, all I had done was um, your with your uh, vellum paper. This is an A4 size. And all I've done to create uh, this size I just, um, I'm just going to line it this way. I just cut it to whatever height I want this to be. So if I want, uh, just depending on the height, you're going to cut your paper. So in my case, this is about three inches, I think. So this is about three inches. So I just cut three inches down. And then you've got all this space. So you can maybe make another... Uh, three more strips of these and then you can make more pockets um, just depending on your height so that is all I've done with that and then I'm going to fold this over in half so that is now um, 
been folded. You're going to now grab another piece of paper. Again, this is the same digital print uh, for the journal boat. And this piece of paper, you want it to be roughly the same size as the uh, vellum that you folded in half. Now, this is slightly shorter, which doesn't matter. As long as it's not too short, you want it at least about the same size. And then you want another piece of a strip paper. Again, the same, uh, same length. My one is a little bit longer, which is fine, because I'm going to trim that down. But with the height, you just decide um, how high you want your tuck spot to be in the front here. So this one here is the tuck spot. So whatever height you want that to be, you're going to double that width. So in my case, I think this is about two inches wide. And then when I fold it over in half, which we'll do now, that will now determine the, the depth of my tuck spot because that's going to go down here. So you just decide how high you want your tuck spot and then you uh, double that um, width. So that is all you need. You just need these three pieces. We're going to grab this piece here that you've cut uh, roughly the same size as your folded vellum. You're going to fold that in half. And again, um, distress your edges first if you want to distress it before we assemble it. But I won't do any of that. Uh, and then you're going to open that up and you're going to apply glue to the bottom here. And the part where it has the opening, you're going to bring that inside where that folded part is. <clears throat> and just line everything up and then we're going to press them both down. So now that is how it should look like and then that should sort of open up like that. Now we're going to grab this piece that you've uh, folded that in half. <coughs> we're going to place that here like this and lining that on just above the fold line. And we are, I'm actually going to, let me just trim this down first, Might make it easier. Sorry about that. Should have done that first. All right, so we're, so we're going to open that up. And we are going to put glue along this edge. And then also along the inside of that uh, paper that we had folded. And also along here. I'm not going this way so it's easy. It's just easy to know where you're going to put the glue. So there. And then just on the inside. And on the edge. And all we do now, we're going to bring this up and we'll seal up those bits that we had placed the glue. I think my one kind of went out of line a little bit, but that doesn't matter. So now you've got that part, we're going to turn this over and then this part we're going to do the same. And we're going to glue along there and along the inside here and then along the edge out here. Just make sure all your papers are lined up as well. And then we just bring that up, seal that off. So look at my one paper wasn't sitting right, but you've got the idea. Let me just fix this up. It's going to bother me. There we go. So now what you have, you'll have your front tuck spot here because we've already glued that up in the front there. And then you're going to have this part here as your pocket, which is the same as in here. Then you've got that top pocket. You're going to turn this around to the other side and you'll have this uh, tuck pocket here. Well, my glue's a little bit still wet, but that's your tuck spot there. And then you have this part and then that same top pocket. 
and then all I've done was added some trim to the edge here and then again along the edge here as well and then you can decorate it but that is how to make this uh, five pocket uh, vellum insert and you can also make a pocket like this with vellum and a cute little uh, pocket folder as well with a vellum cover so that is uh, the three a pocket set that I've made I'm just trying to sort these out that you could make easily with your vellum and using some digital prints um, or uh, using scrap paper whatever you like and um, hope you give this a go so now I'm going to just show you quickly the fun uh, listings of goodies that I'm going to be listing these are all more a uh, shabby theme um, items that I'm going to list so for those that like uh, junk journaling so let me just bring this to the side and I'll just show you what uh, some of the fun stuff I'm going to be listing. So what I've made, I did share these on my uh, Instagram. Actually, I might start with this one first. So I am actually going to have these uh, three pocket set, um, journal pocket sets available in my shop. So you will get this uh, kind of pocket uh this five pocket insert and the pocket folder so get these three and i have them a package like this for you so you'll get um a nice uh organza rib ribbon tied around the uh pocket set a doily and i'll just take it out so you can see this one and you'll also get these two blank uh stamp die shape uh, that I used some craft paper which I had also made similar to this one you can just embellish it with your bits and pieces and make a little collage a stamp shape collage and they fit nicely in the pocket so you'll get two of those um, you'll, I won't take everything out but I'll show you again and you'll get oh, I'll go with this one and you'll get the pocket with a villain in there get a blank a blank a vellum folder with the pocket and then it was the get this one and you'll get the five pocket and you'll get it in this similar um, digital print uh, in the set as well so that is what you get in this little pack and you can see what more the uh, detail and measurements i'll have that in my uh, description for the uh, listing so that is how it looks like it's really pretty great little uh, gift set to give to somebody so that is one of the listings and then i have these cute little uh, clusters which i just showed you in the um, in that project which is like this one here and I made a whole bunch of them and they're just so really so cute and again I had stamped and torn the papers so you'll get a random pack of three of these uh, embellished uh, clusters so they're just pretty just great you can also use these as a little tuck spot on your pages you could just glue the edge here and then you can create a little tuck spot and place this on the corner you can keep adding more layering if you like to add more trims or layering or more um, distressing if you want to distress the edges you could also do that so there are all of these fun little um, embellishments and with that you get a random three of these that I've made as well as a, uh, a vellum pocket that I've already put together and that will also come packaged like this so you'll get the three random uh, paper cluster embellishments, the vellum pocket with some uh, crochet twine to keep it together. And then you could reuse this as well uh, in your other projects, these pockets. You could punch a couple of holes here and add these into your binding rings to create a little pocket in your album or your planners. Uh, you could glue these down and create a pocket in your pages or you can just use this as a packaging ID. So that's another great way you could use these pockets so again you get one of those and a random three of these paper cluster embellishments and these were really fun to make as well and i may do a tutorial 
or a process video on how I put these together um, if I have time. I've got also these other fabric trim clusters that I've made as well. I made a few of these. These ones are, again, these will be random uh, centers that you'll get and you get three of these as well. And with that, you will get them packaged in one of these uh, little envelopes, coin envelopes that I've made, again, with um, a digital print. And this one is by uh, Daisy Paper Daisy Journal. Uh, this digital print is really pretty. And they will also come packaged with um, some twine. So there's already three packaged in here already. And then you can reuse this or you could... Um, repackage it for other of your package goodies so that is also another item that's coming into my shop and I have another fun embellishment um, pack as well that um, I'm going to have listed and I'll show you so these are this is a nice little pack and these are all uh, been handmade by me except for the organza trim so in here is a little uh, floss spool with um, about a meter or approximately one yard of white organza ribbon and then you can reuse this spool and it will be packaged in one of these uh, seal bags and then I've also printed out sorry I stamped um, some cardstock with some music prints and um, I've torn the edge which you can use this as well on your projects uh, you get a doily and then I've also handmade this cute little uh, flower shape using some lace trim so that's been hand stitched by me and I also hand stitched this cute little tiny uh, lace yo-yo it is so cute and so tiny I think it's about 20 mil in size let me just see it's about an inch about an inch or about 20 millimeters so it's really, really tiny, but so cute. And then you can add your own little centers as well to the center. And then this is the little uh, fabric trim cluster that I had showed you in uh, this project that I've made. So I just placed it on there. And then again, you can add more layering to the back. You can you know, add more trim, add some of your paper scraps to create more of a larger cluster. But this is really cute so you get that and again i have put that together and then in here you get a few of these really cute little trinkets that i also had um put together as well and then this is another one of those the torn cardstock uh sorry craft paper that i had uh, stamped which is similar to this one so you can see it's on the back of the cluster so you get one of those and these are the cute little charm dangles that I had made let me just show you I'll place it on here so there is a cute little butterfly dangle with a little uh, cream colored pearl a glass pearl it's supposed to come with a clasp um, there's a little clasp on the end but this one probably didn't get one and then there is also these two little dangles charm dangles in glass a glass pearl and a clear glass crystal and these are cute little dangles you can then add these also to your journaling projects and I also put together this cute little uh, flower flat back cabochon on a little dangle as well so that's really cute so you get a these cute little trinkets that you could play around with on your projects and then this becomes a nice cute little pack and that will come packaged uh, like this so you'll get an extra uh, lace trim as well wrapped around your packaging and that you can also use on your projects so that is another uh, item that will be listed in my shop so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video with uh, a quick little tutorial on a little junk journal pocket set using vellum as well as um, some of my listings that will be in my shop. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.